We begin with a developing story out of Greenville tonight. Vidant Medical Center is facing possible budget cuts that they say impede their mission to improve the health and well-being of Eastern North Carolina. Yesterday, the Senate's proposed budget included language to eliminate Vidant's ability to be reimbursed as the primary affiliated teaching hospital for the Brody School of Medicine at ECU. Now to your sides, Courtney Allen joins us live from outside the hospital with the details. Courtney, what can you tell us? Ken Shayla, the change would result in a $35 million annual cut to Biden's bottom line that would go into effect on July 1st. In today's press conference, the CEO of Biden said he is very surprised by yesterday's budget. Now, this would be in addition to the $38 million annual cut to Biden due to changes to the state health plan that is taking effect January 1st, 2020, totaling more than $70 million in cuts if the budget is passed. We asked the CEO, what percentage of their bottom line does this all make up? And he said, quite simply, all of it. However, he said they will continue to do their best to support the Brody School of Medicine and Eastern North Carolina, regardless of the budget outcome. We have and will continue to meet the challenges that face this beautiful region and the rapidly changing healthcare environment. We do not think that these budget cuts are in the best are the best things for us, Eastern North Carolina, the Brody School of Medicine, or ECU. They are encouraging everybody across Eastern North Carolina to contact your local senators by tomorrow to voice your opinion on this as they are voting on the budget at the end of the week. We'll have much more details tonight coming up in your news at 6. Live in Greenville, Courtney Allen, 9 on your side.